for fashion and music this week. And both are things that I absolutely love, so let's get right into it, why don't we? So I love fashion and I love clothes. I like putting outfits together and um, talking about fa fashion to people. And um, I really like looking at cool outfits on the street. But one thing I really, really hate is clothes shopping. In no other situation am I more dysphoric. And you are most aware of all the female characteristics of your body. So I absolutely hate buying pants. I hate buying pants. That's why I only have a few pairs. And um, I hate going pants shopping. And it's just because I am short and my hips are rather wide. So they're the complete opposite of a guy's body proportions. So no pants fit me properly. A lot of the times I still have to buy uh pants and jeans from um the girls section which kills me i see a lot of trans guys wearing really baggy clothes that you don't even really see cis guys wear anymore well at least like fashionable ones because um they're trying to pass and they're trying to cover up their feminine uh body shape what i found is that Wearing more fitted clothes doesn't really make a difference for me personally if you have a good binder with passing. I have a really bad binder and, and in order to kind of cover that up I usually wear layers. I wear a lot of layers. Basically what I do all the time I wear a t-shirt and a shirt over it. And with this unbuttoned shirt it kind of like covers any of the bumps and stuff that you want to hide. I have a rule for myself that I don't ever buy any clothes that are over 30 bucks Australian money which is about 30 US um just because I think yeah it's a fun thing but it's kind of also a luxury item it's not something that I need in my life so I don't really give myself any budget to buy clothes um most of my clothes are actually from I stole from my dad or um I just wear clothes for years and years and years and I try to mix and match and I always have new outfits because I'm good at mis mix and matching, looking for clothes. I hardly ever buy new items for myself, but when I do, it's usually when they're on sale. And sale items, I usually only buy, yeah, the ones are under 25 bucks. So my style changes a lot um, depending on the mood I am, I'm in. And sometimes I feel a bit more crazy and I'll just wear crazy outfits and um, sometimes I feel really minimalistic and I'll just wear all black. <laughs> so I might have a little bit of an obsession with button up shirts. And these aren't even all of them. I think this is about half of what I own. I also wear hats a lot because I feel really naked without headgear. And it's usually because my hair is bad and I want to cover it up. But yeah, this is my signature Leo hat, and it, I wear it nearly every day. Um, I also wear this a lot. It's also my dad's, so it doesn't really fit that well. And um, I actually really like wearing fitted clothes, so I'm trying to buy more shirts that are fitted, but not the ones that like are really tight around this area. Clothes that are way too uh, big for you, it actually does the opposite effect of what you're trying to achieve. I mean, it just shows... Um, all the parts that you can't fill up with your body. So um, yeah, I really like shirts that are fit around here and on my shoulders. I also wear a lot of sweaters. and <laughs> These are just some of them. And I really like knitted ones. So I have a couple of those. And I have a bunch of t-shirts. So what I wear is basically combinations of uh, t-shirts um, button-up shirts and sweaters. I um, listen to all types of music. I listen to so much music. In fact, on my iTunes library, I think I have about 8,000 songs right now, and I just deleted about 2,000 at the start of the year, so uh, if that says anything. But my favorite genres are usually just... Jazz has also always been one of my favorites, and I also really like um, listening to soundtracks to movies. Or games. So right now I am listening to uh, Darth Punk, Fleet Foxes, Frank Ocean. Actually, 
I was meant to see Frank Ocean um, last Monday, but apparently he tore vocal cord and that was just really devastating. And I was really looking forward to that. But yeah, Frank Ocean is one of my favorite artists right now. And I'm, I've been listening to Imagine Dragons, uh, James Blake, um, Jamie Cullum, Kanye, Kings of Convenience, and a bunch. Never really felt the need to hide the fact that I like listen to Justin Bieber and One Direction and Taylor Swift. I actually really like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Because, I mean, it's just music, so it makes me happy. And um, I don't uh, understand people who are really snobby about their music or have to hide the fact that they listen to certain music. I think it's really silly. But my favorite tracks right now is probably The Other Side by Jason Derulo, Resolution by Matt Corby, and um, I really I quite like the new J. Cole album. And, um, personally, I haven't really gone into the new Kanye album, but, um, I haven't, I guess I have to be in the same mood, but also, I really, really, really like Miguel right now.